Are you one of those guys? You know who we're talking about. The person who seems like he can hit anything he shoots at. Have you ever dreamed of being one of those guys? It's time to stop dreaming and start practicing. Hey guys, Backyard Brothers here. With the cost of ammo being so high lately, it's been hard to have fun shooting. And so, Daisy has come up with a way for us to do this. They've made the path to happiness for us. It's called the Daisy Rocket Shot. And today, we're gonna show you how to use this, do lots of different cool things with it, put it through its paces, and show you that it's something that you will wanna buy. So, stick around. This is going to be really cool. So once you receive the rocket shot and pull it out of the box, you're gonna find that it's in two pieces, but it's very easy to assemble and get started. The first order of business is screwing these two pieces together. Once you've got the two pieces screwed together, you're going to take both your hands and push the rocket shot down in the ground good ways until it feels solid. Next, you're gonna take the 12 ounce soda can of your choice and easily while guiding the spring down in the tube, hold your sear to the rear, push your can all the way down until it stops. You're going to push your sear to the front, let off easily, and you're ready to go. Keep your face away from the top of the rocket shot when loading it, just in case if it does happen to slip and shoot the can up, it's not going to hit you in the face and cause any injury. Alright guys, so some rules for this is number one, uh, this is for pretty much any type of shooting though, you need to make sure you have a safe backstop and that you're not going to hit anything whenever you shoot. Number two, you need to make sure you shoot this Daisy rocket shot with something that is 350 feet per second or less. All right, with that said, let's get to shooting. Let's do it. So just a uh, quick rules of safety before we shoot guys, always make sure to wear your eye protection, especially when shooting BB guns. Also later, we're going to be shooting some actual guns as well. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure to wear your uh, ear protection. We've got our handy dandy Caldwell Emacs Pros with us. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. We'll probably leave a link down in the description to it. Great video and it was very helpful. So I've got the Daisy Model 74 and brother's got the uh, Daisy Red Rider BB gun. I'm gonna set it off, he's gonna hit it out of the air. So you ready for the first one? Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah. oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we were able to hit the 12 ounce can out of the air. Great job, by the way. Now I'm gonna take my turn. I'm gonna see if I can hit an eight ounce can out of the air for a little comparison for you there. Just a little smaller than 12 ounce can, but I'm gonna give it a try with the Model 74. So let's get this in the rocket shot, see if we can do it. Woo! There you go. Woo! All right guys, so now we've got out the Ithaca 12 gauge and we got a half can that is full. We put it in the rocket shot. I'm gonna set it off with the BB gun and then uh, he's going to shoot it out of the air with the shotgun. So no setting it off with the shotgun. We're just shooting the half can out of the air with the shotgun. He's got to be quick because since it's full, it's not gonna launch it up very high. So, you ready? Right. Sorry guys, we forgot to turn the GoPro on. So we're ready to go now, you ready? <laughs> that was quick. Good job. That was awesome. Oh, that was sick. It would. <laughs> now I threw a rotten potato in there. Let's see what it'll do. <laughs> Woo! That went everywhere. <laughs> Good shot. Alright, guys, so now we have a cherry tomato thrown into the rocket shot. And I'm going to set it off with the BB gun. He's going to try and hit it with a 410. So. Hey! Got there it. we go. That's fun. Not bad. That's fun. Not, Not bad. bad. Not bad. All right, guys. So for the finale, we had the Daisy rocket shot set up on top of the hay bale with a can full of soda in it. My brother has a 22 pistol. I got the BB gun. I'm going to set it off with the BB gun, and when the can comes down in front of the hay bale, he's going to try and hit it with the 22 pistol. 
Can we do it? Let's figure out. Ready, cowboy? Go. Okay, guys. So he shot and he nicked the lip. Not enough to bust it, though. You did that on purpose, didn't you? We'll just say you did that on purpose. All right, so we switched firearms. We're going to see if you can hit this out of the rocket shot. Here we go. Keep going. Fine. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> so guys, we had a really good time playing with the Daisy Rocket Shots. They're a really great product, and they are really fun to play with. I recommend right when you get these to to start off with something simple. Maybe get a buddy. Have him set off the paddle and then you uh, shoot the can out of the air. And then once you get past that, then you can start doing both, shoot the paddle and the can out of the air, make it a little more complex. And while <clears throat> a lot of people look at this as a toy, and while it is really fun to play with, it's not. It's really good for drills, practicing aerial targets, uh, snap shooting, and just building muscle memory. And once you get past the level of shooting, shooting one, you can move to two and uh, set off the paddle and shoot the can out of the air and then move to the second one. And then once you get past that, then you can shoot both paddles and then shoot both cans out of the air and really move up and do some more complex things. So these things are really versatile. Also, once you get finished shooting the one paddle and the one can out of the air, and once you move on to shooting both, that'll really help with target transitioning and that'll really help you get quicker with that. Yeah. So there's just so much versatility that you can, you know, do use with these Daisy Rocket Shots. And two's not the limit. You can set up three or four or five mm, yeah. of these things and just go berserk on them. And man, you can have a great time. Um, they're also really, really fun for beginner shooters when you get that report of shooting the paddle and the can flies up in the air. Um, but they're really great for beginner shooters and experienced shooters as well. So uh, I also want to mention that we were not sponsored or endorsed at all by Daisy. We these with our own money and we just wanted to share them with y'all because we were having a lot of fun with them and we think they're a great product and we wanted to to share this with you and so thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down in the comment section below and if you'd like please press the subscribe button and just thank y'all for watching this video and stay safe and be home in time for supper you had a full auto beat you gotta just get it ready <laughs> that feels pretty thing good it's really helping with target transitioning, which I'll show. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I just finished. You're coming in. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry for your noise. No, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, that's hard to come off of. It is. <laughs> because <laughs> no, that was pretty funny. <laughs> All right. It also helps with target. Uh, you know. oh, I can't think of also without being. Ha <laughs> <laughs>